Welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can create lists inside of TickTick and why you should. So as you see here, I have opened up TickTick here on the desktop app on my Mac. And what I'm about to show you will work basically in the mobile app as well as the web app. It might be in a little different area. But I want to show you why you should create lists. As you see here, I have lists set up on my TickTick. -tick. And at the top, I have a today and an inbox. Yours might be different. You can choose in settings to have tomorrow also on your uh, list up here. But what I'm talking about is project lists. When you create a new task, you need it to go somewhere to get out of your inbox so you can practice inbox zero so you don't have all your tasks cluttering up your inbox. So whenever I create a new task, I will decide at a certain point in the day whether I want that in my personal or my day job or some of my side hustles. And what I do is I just right click on it and I move it to one of my lists. And all you do is choose which one you want to put it in. And voila, it's done. The cool thing about lists is you can categorize them, as I have done, in folders. So as you see here, when I open these up, I have a list folder called personal. And inside of that personal folder, I have a list called one-time task and recurring task. And what I have found is I really just need to separate my personal stuff into just two buckets or two lists. Same goes for all of my other areas that I am focused on right now. So, like I say, you just right click on it and move it to whatever area that you want to move it to. Now, to create a list, all you do is click on the plus icon here and create your list. If you happen to know what folder it belongs in, you can also select that in this area or create a new folder. You can also change the color of your list. You can change how it is viewed. As you see here, this is a Kanban style view. Or you can just have it as a list view. Or if you want, you can have it as a timeline view. Of course, I believe that is a premium feature since it has a little gold icon above it. And in the type, you can leave it as a test list or a note list. And we'll go over do not show in smart list um, at a later time. But this is basically how you add a list. And all you do is, let's say you want to create a list for work. You just type in work. Maybe you want to color it red. Maybe you want to have it as a list view. And then hit save. Once you do that, it'll show up here with a little uh, color icon. Now, as you see, mine don't have color icons because I have chosen not to have any colors. But if you do, there you go. That's how it is. And then inside of that list, you can add tasks inside of that list. So you don't just have to add them in your inbox. Maybe you go right down here to your work list and just start typing out your list. Okay. I always suggest, though, typing it out here so you have everything in one area. So you can actually find what you need to do and put it somewhere else. Because if I just typed it in here, I might forget to set the date and then it gets lost somewhere in all of this junk, right? So it's best just to have it there. So when I go here, I'll go and right click on this, move it, or I might set a date. Maybe I know it's going to be today. And maybe I need to go and now move it to where it needs to go. It's just that simple. If you all have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment right down below. And if you want to see more episodes like this in the future, make sure you like my channel, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. With that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week, and I'll catch you next episode. Take care.